When you have got a strong sense of love for the Supreme Law, then it is possible that we can go on discharging our duty at the same time remember the Lord. So we have to develop that sense. And just like Arjuna was always thinking of Lord. He, uh, out of twenty-four hours, not for a second he could forget Krishna, uh, constant companion of Krishna. At the same time a warrior. The Lord Krishna did not advise Arjuna to give up his fighting, go to the forest, go to the Himalaya and meditate. And when yoga system was advised to Arjuna, Arjuna declared that this system is not possible for me. Ah. Then the Lord said, Yogina Amati Sarvesa Madgata Antaratmana Madgatina Antaratmana Siddhavan Bhajati Juma Samijitta Tamo Vataha. So one who thinks of the Supreme Lord always. He is the greatest yogi. He is the uh, supermost gyani. And uh, he is also the greatest devotee at the same time. The Lord advises the tasma sarvi sukaleshu maam anusmara yuddha. As a kshatriya you cannot give up your fighting business. You have to fight. So at the same time, if you practice remembering Me always, then it will be possible, antakale chamame vasmaram, then it will be possible to remember Me also at the time of death. Maya pito mano buddhi mami ba sasi asangsaya. Again, he says that there is no doubt. If one is completely surrendered into the service of the Lord, into the transcendental loving service of the Lord, Maya pito mano buddhi. Because we work not with our body actually, we work with our mind and intelligence. So if our intelligence and mind are always engaged in the thought of the Supreme Law, then naturally our senses are also engaged in the service of the law. That is the secret of Bhagavad-gītā. One has to learn this art, how one can be absorbed both by the mind and intelligence, twenty-four hours thinking of the Lord. And that will help one to transfer himself into the kingdom of God or in the spiritual atmosphere after uh, leaving this material body. The modern scientists, they are trying for years and years together for reaching the moon planet and they have no approach as yet. But here in the Bhagavad-gītā 
Here is a suggestion. Suppose a man lives for another fifty years and he so uh, nobody tries to um, elevate himself in the spiritual ideas for fifty years. That's a uh, very good idea. But even for ten years or five years one sincerely tries for this practice. Mayyavito Manobuddhi. It is simply a question of practice. Ah. And that practice can be uh, very easily possible by the devotional process, sravanam. Sravanam. The easiest process is to hear. Sarvanam kīrtanam viṣṇu smaranam pāda sīvanam archanam vandanam dāsam sakkamātam vīdam. These nine processes. So the easiest process is simply hearing. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. 